a man that existed amongst the companions who used to like it see him talking normal and smiling or laughing and then suddenly at occasions he would start to cry and cry so much until he went unconscious the companions told the Prophet ﷺ about this man to try and read on him for healing so the Prophet ﷺ called this man and wanted to help him and took him aside and he said what, what, what happens to you my brother? the man said to him Ya Rasulullah I was never going to tell anyone this but now that you've asked me I must tell you before I embraced Islam I used to have a daughter and when she was born I wanted to bury her because the cultural ideology came into my mind and I started to think that when she grows older she will bring shame to my family but I stopped myself my heart for my daughter was overpowering years and years went, part, went by as I watched her grow and then one day when she reached close to a blossoming age she was about to become a lady he said I began to have nightmares and desperation and distress the pain of my culturalism came into me thinking of the shame that my daughter is going to bring with me if she walked off with another fellow and brought shame to my, all my ancestors day by day I wanted to do something but then my heart, my love stopped me until one day he said I could not handle it anymore Ya Rasulullah I said to her mother dress her up with, a, with neat clothes and comb her hair nicely and decorate her face and tell her your father today is taking you out to a party a celebration so that she can play with the other friends of hers the mother knew that the father was up to a plot and a plan so she dressed her daughter up she combed her hair while she was crying the mother was crying and she powdered her face and made her nice while the mother was crying the daughter's asking what's wrong mother and the mother would say nothing daughter she's not allowed otherwise the husband will beat her or probably even kill her the daughter said daddy's taking me out for a celebration I love my dad after, after decorating her the father came along in the evening and he took his daughter the wife grabbed the, prophet, grabbed the husband's hand and said to him and whispered to him but his daughter could hear and she said some words that made his heart shiver and the, word, and the daughter to remember O oh man do not lose the trust your daughter is your trust the man took his daughter away and on his way he's thinking to himself what am I going to do and the daughter is playing around her father thinking that her father loves her he said I approached a very deep well which was steep and deep and had rocks sharp rocks at the bottom he said suddenly the pains and agonies of my culturism came and burnt and I began to think should I throw her should I not throw her so I would come close then my heart would not let me suddenly the culturalism would come in he said I wrestled and wrestled suddenly when I came close to the well I grabbed my daughter and I threw her into the well and my daughter howled with her open horrific eyes looking at me and saying to me daddy لا تضيع الأمانة oh dad don't lose the trust don't lose the trust daddy and the, prophet, and the man then threw her into the well he said Ya Rasulullah she kept falling saying لا تضيع الأمانة يا, رح, يا, رح, يا أبي لا تضيع الأمانة until her tiny voice went away I couldn't hear her anymore and she died Ya Rasulullah Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam looked up at him and his beard was soaked with tears Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's beard was soaked with tears and he said to him if Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala was to allow me to punish anyone for the killing and murder of anyone before Islam I would have started with you